My 13-year-old son and I have a podcast, and we just launched our seventh episode and are loving our experience together. One of the things while I'm editing is all of the uhs and ums that I am using. Mostly it's because I'm speaking, monitoring the recording on my computer, and listening to our guest or conversation with my son. I'm basically listening and looking at my guest and using my peripheral vision to keep an eye on the computer. Oh, it's so much stuff. I haven't had any complaints, but I asked my wife to listen closely for the uhs and ums, and she did say that she does feel like it is overused. Even though it may not be extremely noticeable, I can't stand listening while in post. Any tips or ideas that you have used or heard? Any recommendations? Love the show. Keep up the work. Mark. Mark. Thank you very much for the email. I appreciate you. And I think you're on the right path, man. First off, I just want to I want to give you a little quick round of applause where you are you are finding stuff that you think is subpar about your podcast and improving it before you get complaints. That's something that a lot of people don't tend to do. They just say, "Oh, we're done. We're not even editing it. Throw it out there. Let's let the garbage fly." You are saying, I'm going to find ways to improve this and get better and better. You're on the right track there. So a couple piece of pieces of advice. See, I should be editing all this stuff out. I'm not going to. I'm part of the garbage team. <laughs> so I think as podcasters, we fear silence, but we shouldn't. Now, what I mean by that is you should embrace the silence. So instead of thinking, well, I, I'm trying to think of something to say here. Um, let the silence sit there. So I'm trying to think of something to say, um, you know, it's just something, um, yeah, uh, that's a lot worse sounding than, you know, I got to think of something to say here. It could be that I just don't know what to say. So there's two things there in real world conversation with people. You're not going to fill every gap every space in, in thought, every time you're trying to come up with something with an um, you're going to have time to breathe. You're going to have time to think. It's more natural. So not only will your podcast sound more natural, but it is significantly easier to edit out a five second or a three second silence and shorten that up to tighten it up as opposed to, yeah, um, I just um think that it's very difficult to cut out the ums there and make that sound natural because the words, the yas, ums, it's all, all those words are smushed together. So it takes a lot of work to get those ums out and make it sound natural. It's likely not going to sound natural, which will be more distracting than a one second silence. Don't fear the silence. Embrace it. Embrace the darkness, Mark. Embrace it. Second piece of advice. I think you're doing everything right here to improve. What I mean by that is you are editing the podcast and you're noticing how many times you use these crutch words. So as you do more edits, you are essentially training yourself through negative reinforcement to not use the word. So what I mean by that is when you're in the process of editing, every single time you say, um, you probably get a little cringe factor in the back of your mind saying, oh, God dang it. Now it's going to take me five minutes to edit that um out and make it sound natural. So you have this negative reinforcement happening where you're like, every single time I say, um, or that happens, I'm cringing and I'm going to slowly work that out of my vocabulary. So by you editing it, you not offloading that to somebody else, you noticing it, asking for advice or input from a third party. And, and then the third piece of input here is that if you're only on episode seven, I would say don't sweat it too much. I think you're being a little bit too hard on yourself. And the reason that I'm saying that is I don't think the majority of podcast listeners find a podcast that's on episode seven and say, oh, my God, this is not the highest quality like NPR. I'm not going to listen anymore. I don't think anybody really does that. So I think that if you allow yourself time to progress, maybe by episode 15 or 20 or 25 or 30, you will have removed the ums and the yeahs and the uhs from your vocabulary while podcasting. And your audience will be a little bit more invested because they saw you progress and saw you grow through the entire podcasting process. So Mark, thank you very much for the question. I hope that helped at all. And I, like I said, it's awesome that you're podcasting with your kid. That is super tight.